Hello everyone at Mount Tabor Friends and Family Far. I'm in our building right now. It is quiet and it is empty. I wanted to show you our window. Our window is back. As you know, our stained glass window is going through some repairs and uh, today uh, an individual came in and put it in and and there it is. It's You can see the sun's coming through and trying to give you a different look there. Let's step away. Or we can come back a little close. And there it is. Everybody say hi, window. Well, I want to just chat with you a little bit as we are finding ourselves in a new period of time. I'll read to you a passage of scripture from Psalms 84. Verse 1 and 2, it says, How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts! My soul longs, indeed it faints, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh sing for joy to the living God. You know, during this time, we probably can understand what the psalmist was probably feeling. Um, he's talking about the longing for the temple to be in the courts of the Lord. And that real sense that the building, that temple represented for them the profound presence of God. And that longing to connect and be part of that. The psalmist continues in verse 10. For a day in your courts is better than the thousands elsewhere. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to live in the tents of wickedness. And the longing for the courts of the Lord better is a day in your courts than the thousands elsewhere. I wonder if some of us are feeling that right now. Just the longing to be how it used to be in our building, to worship here, to connect here. And those are real feelings. Our, our system, our pattern, our, 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 our approach has been shifted and changed. And in very re good reasons, we don't want to be around each other. We want to protect one another. But the longing's real. I miss seeing you guys face to face. I miss this past Sunday being able to look out over the pulpit and see your happy, beautiful faces. And now as we look, it's rather empty. And yet, the reality is, we know our confession is that God is present everywhere. That God is present with us right now. In these both interesting, difficult, transitional times that we find ourselves in. And, and this is a challenging time. This is a, a, a very challenging time for me as a pastor trying to discern how to pastor a church when I can't connect with y'all face to face. But one thing I remind myself is that we are the body of Christ. We are the temple of the Lord. That all of you out there, you make up those parts of the temple. And God is present in our lives. So we don't have to particularly go to a building, though we do miss coming and seeing this stained glass window behind us. Even though we don't have to go to the building, and that is true, we can take some time just to be still. I've been saying that a lot in these last few days. I've been saying it not just for you, but also for me. To be still and to be aware of God's presence. At this moment, just take a, a deep breath. If the TV's on, turn it off and just get quiet. Get still. And let us tap into those feelings that the psalmist tapped into. Better is one day in your courts, O Lord, than a thousand elsewhere. Better is one moment in this presence right now than anywhere else. Do you sense God's presence? Do you feel it? Allow that peace, that peace to overflow in your life right now. All right, I'm going to be signing out. Pay attention to emails and other avenues your way. We're still working on our finalizing our plans for our coming Sunday for our virtual worship services, and doing other things right now. Peace be still. Know God is God and you are loved. 
and I will talk with you later. Bye.